unable to go digital in our, in our theater, we will no longer be able to get movies. Transitioning to digital is not a luxury option for them. It is a, they, I mean, they're, they're forced to transition to digital. And what that means is they're no longer producing them in 35 millimeter film. What it means for theaters, however, is that we no longer have to pay um, a high sh receiving cost to get them, but the cost of the equipment is what's putting a lot of small town theaters out of business. It's kind of a go digital, or go dark campaign. The stereotype is there's, there's nothing to do in a small town. And um, that's not true in Seneca because the theater, um, Monday through Saturday, has mo two movies an evening, and then on Sundays they provide a movie matinee. And so, with the 35 millimeter film no longer being an option for this theater, that it is very important that we help the theater um, do the digital transition because that's, I mean, this is an important part of the community. Having it in town, making sure it was something in the community that we kept, not necessarily being able to watch the, the latest, greatest movie, but being able to have that option to watch the latest, greatest movie, and you don't have to travel miles to go do it. You know, I don't want to kind of give the theater a little bit too much credit, but we not only, you know, service the people here in Seneca, we bring in people from Pawnee City, um, Bern, Centralia, Corning, Frankfurt, um, Sabetha. We bring people to Seneca. I know that there's um, a theater within a half hour, but you're going to be then spending your money not only there, but maybe you have to fill up with gas there. You're going to be doing that there, and you're going to be eating at restaurants out of town. You're not going to be doing that in Seneca anymore. We are a um, Main Street community. We just received national accreditation for being a Main Street community, and that means preserving the historic um, presence of our Main Street, and the theater is one of the historic buildings. And it was here with silent pictures it's from 1913 when movies started. When we acquired it, there were the carbon art projectors, and there were um, projectionists in the booth that changed the reels and they had two projectors and they were alternating. Within the next year after we purchased it, we changed the projection equipment from the carbon arc system to the platter system, where the movie was still the same film, 35 millimeter, but we just spliced it together and it all went on one big four and a half foot wide platter and it ran continuously. Um, so a lot of the equipment we have now in the projector room, it's all obsolete. We can't use any of it. Um, they are talking by the end of 2013, no longer making 35 millimeter prints for movies. What going to digital is for us um, in Seneca is that we have to upgrade our projectors. Um, not only our projectors we have to upgrade, but we also have to upgrade our sound system and also our screens. The the digital projector itself is, is uh, extremely expensive, um, and then you also have um, a hard drives, uh, laptop computers, um, and then your sound system. Our screens are now obsolete. You have to have digital screens, silver screens. Um, you also need to use um, digital sound equipment, so all of our speakers and sound equipment is obsolete too. We found a company that does um, used equipment and for two theaters, it's um, right at about $105,000. We've secured funding for one theater, um, and we could run off one theater, surely, but you know, it's kind of nice in Seneca to give you a few options since we're one of the only nightlife things that families can do. So we're gonna be asking for the let remaining cost for the second theater to get done. So about $50,000. Having the theater transition to digital is something that's important because we want to keep this, this uh, business functioning and um, keep it as a historic portion of Main Street. Mm -hmm.